Hi everyone, it's Mindy the Determined Scrapper. I know I've been away for months and months and quite some time and you guys have been wondering where I'm at. Um, I've just been up to stuff. I've had a surgery and a couple of other things going on so I finally am getting around to making a video. Um, I had a couple of requests um, wanting to know how I made my bookmarks and I thought I would show you. So, um, these are just some of the recent bookmarks that I made. Um, I cut different um, shapes and sizes and um, like this one somebody requested an, an Ohio State bookmark. Um, so I designed this one in particular using um, the 50 states cartridge um, and then I welded the OSU, I took the OSU and I made that and I welded that together. Um, let's see here. I've, I've made so many different ones. I like this one too, the little penguin. She's cute. The girls I've given eyelashes to. Um, I've made hippos and penguins and um, all different stuff. So, um, whatever um, shape or size that you want, or um, if you want an animal, um, if you want a particular. Um, I also did one for the Indianapolis Colts. Somebody wanted the Colts. Go check out my blog. I also posted some on there of ones that I've made. Um, special orders and things of that nature. It just depends on what type um, you're looking for. That um, is going to depend on what size you cut it at or you make or whatnot. Um, I'm going to go try and go kind of quick here. Um, I've already cut this one out. Um, I have found my paper clips. These coated ones, um, they're the same size, or the, yeah, they're about the same size. The coated ones I find at Kmart, or I'm sorry, Target. And they come in a pack of five for, I believe, a dollar thirty-seven. Um, and I find them in the office supply section, and it, like um, over by the pens and the paper clips and things of that nature, the regular paper clips. Um, and every time I go there, I usually buy every all the packs that they have, as you can see. I have plenty of them. Um, and then these gold ones, I find these at Office Max. Office Max, um, by me, only tends to have the gold ones. They never have the silver ones. And they're a little bit more at Office Max. They are two something. Um, and they are also for a pack of five. Um, so, depends on what ones I'm making. Sometimes I like the colored ones. Now, for my adhesive that I use, um, I use the white dots for the center and I use depending on what color the actual paper is I use these adhesive um, dots and I actually get these from um, confessions of a ribbon addict .com. she actually has um, on the left hand side she has a little spot um, that she sells these, you get you get over 400 pieces for three dollars and fifty cents, and I have bought these multiple times from her. You get two strips of the black one, or they're black um, dots. They're actually like red sticky tape. Um, you get two of these, two of the white dimensionals, and you get. Um, 
two strips of the white circles and one strip of the black circles. The black circles are a little bit bigger as you can see. So I actually um, have bought multiple packages of those from her. She actually has other sizes also. And um, she also has this big um, red line tape. And I want to say this is the 10 yards, and this was only $3.50. It might be more than that. I don't remember. But she has different sizes. There's, um, she has a fourth inch, an eighth of an inch, and a half inch. And she has different sizes, 36 yards, 10 yards, and all of those sizes. And she has really good prices. So, again, it's confessions of a ribbon addict.blogspot.com. Go check her out. I've gone shop there multiple times, and she's super fast. So, okay, this is what I do I pick whatever color of um, paper clip. And I cut my um, my piece out at it ranges um, usually four inches. Me personally, I like to put this where the um, top of the these brackets are not. Um, I'm just lining it up on the bottom so I make sure that it's even and I will show you what I'm doing. Okay, I just line it up so that these are inside. Um, I don't want it out. I don't want them so they're sticking out of the paper. Um, I cut this particular one was cut at three inches depending on the actual project some of them I will cut at three some of them I will cut um, a different size it just really depends I cut some of them at four um, it really just depends on this, I'm just trying to, um, I center it there, and then with these smaller ones, I like to keep it, um, put them surrounding it so it, the paper clip doesn't move, and I try to use the least amount possible. And of course, this one is going to take more than I want to. Oh, and guess what? I just did that the wrong way. Don't you hate when that happens? So you hurry up and you grab another one. Because you already have them cut out. And you hope and you pray that this didn't stick on real good yet. Woohoo! And you say, so wheat, it didn't stick yet. And you might get lucky and it might not stick all the way yet. And waste all your stickies. And then you just... The only problem with these is if you're in a hurry... Um, the white ones, I have a problem getting the backing off. That's just me. Some people might not have such a problem, but they're not like uh, Stampin' Up! Dimensionals where you can just 
get them off really quick. Oh, and one other thing about these is, I don't know if you can see, they have um, the smaller sizes. They're not all the same size, which is nice. Or you can cut them, but, oh, come on. Normally, I don't use this money. I've learned not to. But sometimes, and then you just take these off, <laughs> yeah, because the fewer of these you have, the less of a problem you're going to have taking them off. Probably going to stick one more on on this side because it is not sticking very well right there. You'll find those all over my house. It's like the rubber bands for kids' braces. Find those things all over the place. Okay, normally I do not use this many, so don't fret. You can use however many you want. And then... Here if I can. Nope. 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 Okay. And then since I already have this um, other one, my other shape already cut and layered. I already cut it and glued it and everything. Just gonna line it up. Oh, would help if I took this off. line it up make sure that they're all sticking and there you go you have your little bookmark and it does stick on a page just fine so I have made this one I did on the gold one. They have different colored books. This particular cut is off the Hello Cutty uh, Hello Cutty. Hello Kitty Greetings. So that's that particular one. So uh hopefully that was quick and easy and you were able to uh see how I did it. So if you have any questions, let me know, and I hope to see you all again soon. Thanks.